In 1999, Chris Hobler was a man who had everything. A beautiful wife. Well, good morning. It's Christmas morning, 1999. A new baby. <laughs> and a music career that was going places. But the next year, Chris began to lose his voice. For a professional musician and singer, this was a troubling discovery. It soon led to devastating news. Chris was diagnosed with ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. ALS is a degenerative neurological disease for which there is no known cure. People with ALS become totally paralyzed. They lose the ability to walk, to swallow, to breathe. All the while, their minds remained unaffected. Chris was 35 years old when the doctors told him, there is no hope. You will die. There is nothing you can do. Everyone I know with ALS has a common experience with the diagnosis. They just give you no hope at all. None. None. Chris was not satisfied with this message, and he was shocked to learn that the medical establishment hasn't made ALS research a high priority. Chris's grandfather died of ALS in 1981, but few advances in treatment have been made since that time. So Chris and his family founded ALS Hope, a nonprofit foundation that funds progressive research, not only for ALS, but also for other so-called orphan diseases. Orphan disease is any disease as characterized by the National Institute of Health that has fewer than 200,000 Americans at any one time uh, are suffering from that disease. There are 6,000 orphan diseases, so uh, approximately one out of every 10 Americans will at some time in their life have an orphan disease. And what makes it an issue? What makes it an issue? is that the pharmaceutical companies can't make a profit in the development of treatments for orphan diseases. So very few people are looking into ALS. ALS Hope is at the center of a new system that provides the funding, resources, and information needed for people with ALS and other orphan diseases to fight back. They'll know that they can come to ALS Hope and find answers and find, and find hope. Go. Beautiful faces standing behind my mirror, reflecting innocence so sincere. Chris's positive attitude may be the best treatment available. I never really see this as a tragedy. I see it as an opportunity. What I've seen Chris Hobler and his family do is make a commitment, a commitment that they didn't necessarily have to make, to creating change in our world. Just believe in the miracles raining down from the sky. In my heart, I'm still a singer. In my heart, I'm still a singer. But now, my voice is ALS Hope. ALS Hope. I just believe.